Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero. Welcome to Eki, the station, which is a horror game where you're trying to take the train home. All right, I better hurry. I'm about to lose the last train home. All right, we're very much hurrying right now. At a very steady rate. Can I get a... Anything out of these? No. If you'd like my soul. What's this? Nothing. You gotta be kidding me. This can't be happening to me. It's right there! See, you should have hurried a little more hurried. Guess I'll need to find another way to get back home. Train tracks. No, we can't. Could just wait. You know, the next day. <laughs> yeah, there's a person over there. Hey. How you doing? Schoolgirl. Go away. No. Well, fine, I'll go away. Don't make do that. I'm just gonna walk down here. I'm walking home. We'll see if that's possible. Whoa! No, apparently not. Leaving by walk wasn't a good idea. Didn't you see how late it was? Oh, apparently not. They have vampire schoolgirls around this place. We're gonna ignore you. Let's try the phone booth. You just use the phone booth, right? Just... Call? I've had some spare coins, I could call and ask for a taxi. Spare coins... What's in here? Nothing. Maybe near the, uh, vending machines, usually you find spare coins. What over here? Some bicycles? Yeah. Let's take a bicycle home. There's no bicycles. Useless. Well, I think we gotta do the thing I was talking about, like, look in the ground, look for, uh, coins, maybe. Maybe the, uh, schoolgirl, quotation mark, has some... Oh, there's coins. Lucky day, I just need some extra coins. Some here. Fine, now I can make the call. Okay, thanks. A taxi should be here in a minute or two. Do I actually have to wait a minute? Am I in danger? I'm a little... I'm a little nervous. Kinda wanna leave the phone booth. Taxi. There's a, uh... Man-eating schoolgirl over in there, I don't want to deal with. Can you hurry up? Do I sit down? And wait? Don't know. I think it's literally a minute. We have to, like, wait. Yeah. Yeah, no, here, here it comes. Wow, it was real time. Give me a you. Hey, 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 stop. Okay. Yay. You made it home. Just had to listen to some boring radio talk in the taxi. Heading two out of five. Okay, so this happens. We know we can take a taxi. We know we can try to leave on foot and we die horribly. 
But what else would there be? Can we try bothering you more? Station, train station. Go on. Train, the train. Yeah. Go away. There's gonna be more to you. Yep, I don't talk. She really is a vampire. Sometimes people are ghosts, spirits, yokai, don't like talking, be interrupted. Ending three out of five. Gotta find our way home. Oh. Why are you- Ah! Am I in the bathrooms? You want to go back home, but instead you no-clip into the bathrooms. Time to explore! I actually do have a playthrough of a- Another game called The Bathrooms. So I'm morbidly curious. Um, can you remember that joke about, oh, we'll just, we'll just stay here for the next train, right? Stay overnight. And based off of the taxi being real, somewhat real time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test this. Maybe it's a real thing. We're just gonna wait here. For a while. I mean, you won't be waiting here for a while. I will. Wait, 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 what? It seems like you didn't want to go back home at all, so don't worry, you are going to stay in the station. Seems like we just die in general. Station sucks! So, that's it for Eki the Station. Uh, there's... I was kind of talking about certain archetypes of, like, indie games or indie horror games in general. So, you have your, like, jump scare simulator, which is usually linear path and at the end there's some kind of like build up and there's like a jump scare at the end and you die then sometimes you have your a little more uh collectophon kind of wandering in a specific area then the jump scare hits you and die and then you have another one i think this is kind of this type here and i've played a quite a few indie horror games like it i kind of call these like ending collectors because they do actually very commonly have like numbers on the endings and they're more about i mean there is jump scares but they're more about like figure out how to get the jump scare. They're almost always very short, but they're always, can you do this silly thing or this very specific thing? Will you get a bad end? Well, will you get a good end maybe? But usually you'll get a bad end. And I think they're actually pretty fun. Like I, I don't really get tired of them just cause like the format's very consumable. They are, they do share a lot of similarities obviously, but they're kind of like French fries of the indie horror gaming thing. They're just very consumable. They're kind of a little quirky and fun. Um, and that's really the best way to describe something like this. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play Eki the Station. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.